Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm gonna just go over really quick here my Lightning Storm Druid build. I haven't seen a ton of content on this, and so um, I've had a ton of fun with it. I've played it since level 40. I have a Tempest Roar, just to preface. Um, but without it, just you know, go with this. Okay. I'm just gonna mouse over each of these. Obviously, all uh, the stats are just gonna be subjective to what you get. Um, when you do have Tempest Roar. Uh, obviously, I, I recommend swapping this out for damage reduction while in Werewolf. Um, other than that, I'll keep going. But uh, yeah, all of these uh, stats are going to be subjective to what you know, drops for you. But as you can see, I have a lot of uh, cooldown reduction and storm skill cooldown reduction, as well as a lucky hit. Um, so I just would prioritize those if you can. Um, and then obviously, like a damage increases are really important. Um, I will say that uh, this... Um, is not a necessary aspect. Uh, it's not rec like you don't have to have it. You can use something else. Um, however, I would I would highly recommend this early on. Um, you may we may not need this. Um, I'm gonna shuffle around some of the uh, spirit generation in this build to see if I can uh, eke out some more damage, uh, but not lose some of my uptime on casting. Um, now that I have Tempest Roar, but early on, highly recommend this. Okay. Um, all the other ones, I, I pretty highly recommend using those. Um, Let's look at Spirit Boons. Now, um, always use this. Um, uh, I, I Actually, I'll, I'll take that back. I use this. Sometimes I do use this. It, uh, it's up for debate. Um, damage reduction is great. However, we um, we don't get a lot of Unstoppable. So increasing, um, like, a, the, uh, or actually decreasing the duration of crowd controls on us is actually really important. Uh, and I'll show you that later in the talents. But um, So you can use this if you'd like. If you Just kind of test it out, see what works for you. Um, this row is kind of controversial. Uh, early on, absolutely crit strike chance. I'm, I, I would use this right now, except I'm just trying to see, like, hey, does crit damage just do more damage for me right now? It's, a, it's supposed to be a 30x or a 0.3x multiplier. However, we um, I've heard from somebody it's bugged. So that's kind of up in the air. I don't know. Now these other, don't use this one. Uh, you can use this for defense if you need more defense. Now for these two, uh, I, I would just always take these two, actually, from now on. Um, especially from the start this is our like great source of fortify for this build we, we kind of struggle with that without this um and we just kind of have to sacrifice more going other routes so i'd recommend this um early on uh when you're using uh the build uh if you're if you're resource starved you can actually take energize over calamity however when you can just swap over this it's better this isn't a great source of spirit uh, it's just like an additive so i wouldn't rely on this for resource generation and then finally uh, i know a lot of people use masochist however like with the nerf making it lucky hit i don't think it's as beneficial as taking the three percent hill that's in our tree our talent tree so i'd recommend this i highly recommend just like absolutely always using this um it's necessary and then uh, going with your double up here rather than here okay um let's pop over to our skill tree just gonna go through it real quick. I'll touch on like important talents and stuff. The usual, the usual. I know a lot of people like this wombo combo. I don't like it. Use it. It's fine. No problems. Um, the build will still work. Um, you can use this as a source of fortify. However, um, since we end up casting our defensives quite often, especially blood hell, um, I don't think we need this. Uh, just go with unstoppable. You can put it somewhere else. Um, Without Tempest Roar, you absolutely have to use this uh, talent here. So just no exceptions. You have to use this. Um, you might be able to sacrifice it with Tempest Roar up. So. Um, this is a great talent. Um, these are both decent talents. This one's decent early on. If you don't have like a source of crowd control, um, you, can, you can use this. It's decent. Um, obviously, if you don't have Tempest Roar, don't use any of these. Yeah, Hurricane. Moving down here. Uh, I'm testing that you, you don't have to use Resonance. I'm just trying it out. Um, I could maybe put it into Nature's Reach. Um, however, we pull things in a lot with this build, so they usually end up being close targets anyways. Uh, this I, I would recommend this always. It's a great source of heals. I would just recommend it. We, can, we channel a lot. Use it. Um, now, I would highly recommend this unrestrained it reduces um the the control impairing effects by nine percent however that's tripled 
when we're over 50% fortify. So that's a uh, 28%, uh, 27% rather. Um, so it's really like really good. Like that's great for us just without unstoppable being in this build. Okay. Um, we've got cataclysm. And then finally, um, early on, you can take perfect storm. If you don't have earth, earth earthen might, um, legendary aspect. However, I would recommend, um, as soon as you can just swapping over to this, this is, I've tested them all. This is just your best bang for your buck. You could maybe get away with, um, lupine ferocity, but I'll test this. I, I don't think it's going to be better than earthen might though. So that's our skill tree. As far as paragon goes, um, this is my paragon. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna dive into it. Uh, territorial, Earth and Sky, Werewolf. I'll put um, a Daunted here, okay? Um, but I would recommend looking at uh, like some people's. Uh, there's a Storm Wolf build on Mobilytics. You could use their uh, paragon. It's a great one. Ace of Spades. Shout out to him. Um, he also has one for uh, Tornado Wolf. Uh, Max Roll, they also have a Tornado Wolf build and a uh, Storm Wolf build uh, with Paragon board. So you're welcome to check those out. I just don't have the time. Um, I'm still just trying to figure this out for myself. Um, it's going to look different when you have Tempest Roar and when you don't. So that's kind of my... I, I'm in between right now, unfortunately. Just understand that. And, uh, and yeah, just to... Uh, well, actually, let's take a look here. Okay, and I, I, I always forget about these. This is, this is kind of like the most important part, right? So this Malignant Heart here, every five seconds, your buff health, uh, your core skills are going to cost you um, health rather than primary resource. And so, and they also do like a little bit more damage. This is actually really um, and key and important prior to Tempest Roar. Highly recommend, like you have to have this to make this build work um, optimally, right? Um, and then you also absolutely need to have, uh, you, like, I would recommend, you don't need it, but I think it's what makes this build that much better, um, is this. Uh, we're up to 48, or up to X amount of dis enemies are pulled towards you while you have an ultimate skill active. That is, like, the bread and butter of how I've built this build, okay? Um, that's why we go with Cataclysm, not Grizzly Rage. Um, obviously, again... Maybe Grizzly Rage, maybe that build is better. I'm just giving this a shot to see. Um, we'll push it later on. But um, I just really love the interaction with Cataclysm, how the Storm skills work, as long as well as this, like, pull in with your ultimate, okay? This kind of vacuum suck. So um, that's about everything I have for the build. Um, I'm going to leave it on there. We'll I'll uh, swap it over into some gameplay for you guys just to get a... a better showcase of how it plays and understand uh, most of the time i uh, don't have tempest roar most of these clips i should not be in tempest roar okay i shouldn't have it so um, you're still able to do really powerful things without tempest roar and without any other uniques which is really cool all right um, and if you do like the video guys give it a thumbs up if you have any uh you know, questions leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time